Hi guys, Grudy, Grudy's Racing Race today. Ah, where are we? Right, camshafts. M54, let's grab a torch. Okay. M54, B30, intake cam, modified. Ah, uh, let's turn that down a tad. Modified. Vanos gear. Right. So the bolt's level here. Usually, when you cut 5mm off this sucker, the bolt will sit slightly proud. Also cut the inside of it down. Don't cut the bolt. Bolt integrity is super important for how tight these end up. So you cut the inside down. Now, let's look at this one. See all the gunk in there? Hmm, can we, can we get it? Wait, we might have to turn the torch up now. Rightio. See all that gunk inside, all that crusty, black, burnt, synthetic oil. Everybody loves synthetics. See that? Right. The Vanos cams have this. Let's see if we can get a. Yeah, there we go. See that little split? That's a high pressure oiling, not high pressure oiling passage. Hmm. That's why it's missing a tooth. Uh, that high pressure oiling helps to lube all this and also lubes this inside shit here as well. It's all due. To this cam journal so when you've got a gummed up shitty cam it'll gum up your vanos lubrication system too so just a little bit of info right that's a modified m54 cam and that's the second one that'll be put together tomorrow morning once i'll wash it and clean it and polish it up that's ready for an m50 m52 single vanos now Let's go look at the NV intake cam. So right. E. Intake. A. Exhaust. Right. So M50 NV intake. Let's grab some verniers. 9.9, .9, just under 10 mil. And this one is about 8 mil. Alright. So we take about 10 mil off. Now, they say about 2.2. .2. Nah, it's fucking bullshit. It's 20. It's 20, same deal. Then we measure this. So we're measuring... The step, 6.2, the next step, 8.6. So that's why they say 2.2. .2. Most guys are taking the measurement off the snout of the cam. The actual length of the cam is, that's a tad longer, that's about 0.4 of a mil longer, is why they say 2.2, .2. somewhere like 0.2 or something. This is... Just under 10, this is about 8. So, when you machine it down, looks like this. So, what we have, let's find a pointer. It's a mill bit. Mill bit, uh, torx bit. So, you have your, your locating face for your sprocket, and then it has a little indent here which is because most sprockets have got a little bit of a, a radii. And they do this on purpose. This is actually like a strength thing. You put a radii in, and it'll actually be stronger. I just trim it straight across there, boom, and I take 2 mil off this face here. That's it. Nice and easy. But to do it, I have to set this up in my lathe. This is old, but this is steady. 
this is really steady. This is all locked up solid. This is all locked. And this spins super true. And I clock it up. So what I do, before I cut anything, I wind it in. Thought I'd teach some people some shit if they don't understand why. Right, so I wind it in. I will turn it and I will get that to just touch. And I will start turning it and you'll hear it when it starts touching and yeah yeah only winding like little bits at a time and it'll start to whick, 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 all the way around once you know it's it's touching all the way and it's clocked up then i clock it up on the edge then i'll turn it on the edge make sure it does a tiny little cut all the way around the edge bam clocked up nice and neat but before i do that i trim this end From this which can't be grabbed and being the fact that this is the timing tool end once you put the non vanos the NV M50 cam onto the intake cam onto the exhaust side in a single vanos engine can't use this timing lock anyway so I still leave a little on there because there's some guys that made some timing locks that match them some offset ones but I take enough off to grab it in the lathe. There you go. A little bit of uh, 1910 technology that I'm using to transform late model cars. <laughs> it works extremely well. I've done it this time, this way, oh, I think five or six times now. This is how I had to work it out. I had to actually trim the cam. This this here is what did it for me. I just couldn't grab this end in the chuck and then cut that face. So yeah. All right, guys. I could have uh, probably put in a four jaw and trimmed it up, but yeah, nice and easy. So exhaust on the left, intake on the right, and that's how the Intake looks ready to go in the exhaust in the lathe. Thanks. Like and subscribe, and hopefully, I have uh, taught a few people a little bit about modifying some camshafts. I will put this up and I'll actually tag it so people can see. Thanks.